Hi everyone, welcome to Becky's Crafts and Goodies. Now today I'm going to make another floral arrangement and we're going to be using these flowers that we got from the Artificial Flower Shop in Llandudno. And if you haven't got their details, I'll put them in the description down below. So if there's anything you want, you can give them a ring and they will sort the order out for you. So this arrangement is going to be white, cream and blue colours. And these are the flowers that I'm going to be using. We've got this bunch here, which was 550 it's got some really nice white flowers on it and lots of greenery as well. I've also got this blue bunch of lilies. You've got some nice little white sprigs there which we can use and that'll all break down. And then we've got this little blue bunch. I have no idea what sort of flowers they are. And I think they're in the pound section. And so are these little roses as well. So although they are different shades of blue, we'll be okay if we break them up with the cream. Now, vase-wise, they do actually sell vases in there if you wanted to pick one up. Um, but what I did is the same as the other one, the other video. If you've missed that, I will link that down below as well. And I picked this up from just a charity shop. So a charity shop or thrift store, it was literally just a couple of pounds. The, the pattern does not match, but don't panic. So what we're going to do is we're going to paint over it. Now, I'm going to use chalk paint to paint over it. You can use um, acrylic paint as well if you want to. Um, so I'm going to paint it in a white because that will match the decoupage napkin that I'm going to put over the top. So the paint that I'm going to use is this Vintage with Grace chalk paint. This is exactly the same colour that I used on the other one. And this again will match the napkin that I'm using. So that's why I'm using this paint. So I'm going to give this two, possibly three, depends how it goes on because it is a little bit shiny. But I'm hoping it will take OK. Um, we will seal it as well when we've finished. Um, and the napkin, I'm just reaching over, that I'm going to use is this beautiful blue one. And we'll be putting that on. So this is going to look totally different. So don't panic that it looks like a bit odd and it wouldn't match. It will do at the end of it. This is the napkin we're going to use. So what I'm going to do to start with is just put on a couple of layers of the chalk paint. Right, so now this is painted. We're going to do the same thing that we did for the previous vase and the display that we did. We're going to decoupage the front. Now I've used the same white because it basically goes really well with the napkin so this is the napkin as i showed you before that we're going to use and i love the blues in it i really like this design anyway and if you can hear like um, some kind of tractor they're actually bailing up the the hay in the field right next to us so if that's what you can hear in the background that's what they're doing and what i'm going to do is i'm going to use the um the, the paintbrush and i'm going to go round the edge of the design of the napkin with water and pull out the designs that I want and then we're going to stick that onto the front so I'll just show you how to do that now so you just need um, a thin brush and you need some clean water I did show you in the other video but I am going to show you again now so you just go around the part of the design that you want and this this napkin is really repetitive so I'll just go straight through that bit and what we'll do is we're going to rip these bits off and then separate the napkin into three Many of you would have seen me do this lots and lots of times. What I'm going to do is just going to cut so I can get to that part. And then I'm just going to... And then I'm just going to rip the napkin. Generally, I just cut the napkin down. In fact, I'm going to do that. I was trying to keep some of the design, but I'll cut around it because it makes it easier. I want to try and keep lots of the designs where I can but it's hard to rip if you've got the full amount so then you just rip around the bit there keeping the design that you want and then we'll separate the layers and we'll just use the top layer and there we go this has to be I think probably one of my favorite crafts it was one of the first things I ever did I watched a lady called Patty Elhoff and I think it's well it was years ago now and I loved doing it me and Ebony used to sit and watch her and we learned loads from her I don't think she tends to do much stuff that's different now but it's like a similar sort of thing that she's always done but that's who we first learned from so once you've got the bit that you want, I'll just lick my fingers and then I use that to separate and you just have to make sure it's separated into three. Can you see there? 
if your hands are a little bit sticky it's easy to separate it off you don't need those bits you just need that part there and i'm going to stick this now onto the vase i'm going to work out how much i'm going to put on i'm just pulling it in and i might put like various different bits on so i'm going to go over the over the vase with like um so i'll put a bit there and i'll put a bit there and i'll sort of go all the way around if you see what i mean but i'll show you on this part to start with just how to do it so i'm going to use some of the matte finish from the fairy chic emporium that's the stuff that i used on the other one i like this because it's thinner than mod podge so it's so much nicer and again i've forgotten to get some cling film i always forget to get that bit ready you can use cling film or you can use like um, a little folder if you want to reuse the plastic that's absolutely fine like a little plastic folder you use and then you just get your i don't know which way it goes up but we'll stick it on that way you just put that on there i know the camera's quite close but you always work from the middle out and if you've got any bits that you need sticking down or an extra bit of glue you can just put those on and then get your cling film and go over the top and then work from the center outwards like that and that just um, protects it because if you were to go straight on with a brush or your finger you would more than likely rip the napkin so you just do that and then you peel this off and you just need to let it dry i've got a few wrinkles there but that should be okay just let that dry and then you need to go over the top of it with a layer of the matte finish and that will um just seal it down absolutely fine so but i really love that napkin against the white so what i'm going to do with the rest of the vase is do some pop some napkins on just in sort of separate places all around and then the vase will be finished and ready just to seal Right, there we go. So I've gone all the way around and I've not done them exactly the same. So I wanted it to look sort of different. I've put one on the bottom there so it kind of comes out from the end. Um, but I'm really pleased with how that's come and that's turned out. So all I'm going to do now is go over it all with, um, once it's dry, I'm going to go over it all with some matte finish. Probably give it two coats and that seals it as well so it doesn't scratch and it won't mark. Now we're going to put the flowers in the pot. This is completely dry now. I've left it overnight. And do you know what? I think this looks really nice on its own. So you could just do something like this and just maybe put it on the side or in your house just on its own like that. I think it looks really nice without the flowers as well. So I'm going to use one of these dry floral foam blocks, just the same as the other video that I did. And we'll cut it. Now the opening in here is actually quite small, so I'll have to cut the foam quite small. I'm going to cock glue it and then stick it down in the bottom. So just stick that down in there, just hold it for a second just so the glue starts to set. And I've done it so I've stood it so the highest part's up. So it gives you, I don't you probably can't see in there, no. Um, it gives you a bit of height inside, the same as we did the other one. So just work out what part of the vase that you want as the front. And then we're going to use some blues and some creams in this video. Now, what I would suggest you do is to split all the flowers off in the first instance so you can see sort of how tall they are and what it is exactly you've got and then if they need to be a bit taller then get yourself some of these bamboo skewers and do the same thing that I did on the other video all you do is snip the top part off get your stick like that and then you just get some florist tape um, make sure you pull it because basically by stretching it actually makes it sticky and you just get this and you just twine it round like that just twizzle and twizzle make sure you're covering all of the stick and then that just gives you the height that you need to on the flowers so any kind of little wire or if you've got any strong wire or thin dowling you know that sort of thing you'll be able to use and then you just go all the way down like this twizzling it all the way and then you've got some more height on your flowers and you won't notice 
that you've done this extra but what I did with all the others is I just ran it so the green went all the way down to the bottom and just left a tiny little bit at the bottom so I'm going to do that with the flowers that I think I need to and then we'll start the arrangement right so we're going to start and put the flowers in now and what I tend to do I don't know if it's the right thing to do I tend to start at the back with maybe a big one um, and just kind of work it sort of down from there we put these side ones in next you can always move them if they're not in the right in the right place I don't know if you can see that enough let me just lift that up a little bit so I want to get a bit of height to start with at the back and if I've made the stems too long I can just clip some off so that will be absolutely fine um, start and put the blue ones in as well these down this side so we want to obviously fill the gap down here I'm hoping you can see I know you've got um, a bit of a light from the back there but it's hard to to help that at the moment the big one at the back I could probably do with another one there let's see if I can get another one from a different bunch right so let's just pop this one in the back here and then all these little gaps we'll, we'll fill those up with little fillers and other bits and pieces this is the rose it's a slightly different blue but I think it'll be okay we'll just pop these in and we've also got the other little blue things as well And then we've got these little bits as well that we can that we can poke in. And there we go so that's the arrangement finished so i hope you've enjoyed watching this i've certainly enjoyed making them for you if you wanted to buy any of the flowers then um, i'll put the link in the description down below so you can pop on and have a look and um that's it from me so i hope you're all okay and i'll see you again soon you take care bye for now